Good day, YouTube. Welcome back to the channel. Gigi Bear here. Now, welcome back to the uh, Wrist Tournament Grand Finals, best of five. We are getting into our third match here uh, between Sol Invictus from the SH Clan and Sunsin Diary. Now, the first two matches have gone squarely in the in the favor of Sol Invictus. He did manage to win out with uh, the Gete in the first match and Tillis in the second match. So, let's jump into the third match and we'll see if Sunsin can pull something special out of the hat. Game three, wrist tawny, let's do it. So we got two <laughs> very yeah, um, uh, strong factions being brought from both players. Uh, it is a normal round, so Sunsin's Arveni build is going to be played by Sunsin. And the Swaby build brought by Sol Invictus is going to be played by himself. Now let's have a look at the, whoa, let's look at these formations here. Interesting stuff, Blood Sworn, Spear Levy, and Noble Riders in the center, nice little sandwich there. Two Germanic Scout Riders going to be peeling off to the flanks. Looks like. And out in the flanks, I, I assume we're gonna have the same thing. So Kimbri Bowwomen, two of them. Uh, Spear Levy, one of our Spears, Berserkers, Blood Sworn, and a Noble Rider. And it looks like we've got... Yep, we've got the same thing happening on this flank as well. Good stuff, very, very, very wide, very disjointed formations. Nice little wings being brought, I like the idea. And we'll see if he can execute the idea uh, well here. So, two heavy horse on that flank. A heavy horse, light horse, and a spear warrior on this flank. We've got chosen spearmen out on the flank. One's over here, and then we've got Levy Freeman and spear warrior over there. Um, spear warriors at the front, two of them. Two Celtic warriors. We got a Celtic slinger. And wow, this is interesting. Why are so many people bringing chosen spearmen? We got two of them. So that's the second time we've seen chosen spearmen in this uh, in this uh, final series here. Chosen swordsmen. Uh, looks like we got four of them, and an O Sworn. So definitely a little bit more compact, uh, something that Sunsin is going to be probably more comfortable with uh, already. Now a bit of action happening over here. We've got the Germanic Scout Riders taking some nice shots in here on the heavy horse. Uh, Sunsin is going to screen away with his Levy Freeman. Not a bad choice at all. Looks like he's probably going to make a beeline from these Osworn as well. Uh, we got a little bit of a push happening here what, by uh, Sol's right flank. The Kimby Bowwomen are going to have a, a field day. Lots of, lots of juicy targets here. Uh, heavy Horse being one of them. Doesn't look like they're just quite in range just yet. Yep, they're going to ignore these front two units, the Celtic Warriors and the Spear Warriors. Oh, no, it looks like they're going to fire on these Celtic Warriors. Actually, that's probably not a, not a bad target. Already picking up five kills or seven kills and one volley and uh, running away. Awesome stuff. Germanic Scout Riders getting some shots in here as well. These are... Uh, whoa, these Heavy Horse being... Uh, being pulled way up out of line. They may just get ambushed here if they can't get away. And these Kibby Bowen just uh, taking liberties here, getting a couple of shots in there. We do have an engagement over here, the Heavy Horse charging into the Noble Riders. Is Spear Levy gonna have a good time up against them? We do have, oh, do we have, yeah, Fast Charge has just been popped. Uh, Noble Riders gonna throw themselves into combat. These Bloodsworn are gonna hold up against those Celtic Warriors. In the center, we do have engagements. The Heavy Horse has engaged Noble Riders. Gonna get an awesome charge here from the Light Horse. Not a bit of a switcheroo with the Levy Freeman. They have had a uh, fast charge applied. They will get a lot of kills there. We have the Blood Swan gonna charge into those Spear Warriors. So it doesn't look like, well, for the most part, the uh, charge has not been applied for a lot of these Swaby units. Uh, they're gonna steamroll their way through a couple of these units, though. Regardless of what happens here, these Berserkers are gonna have a field day here up against the Chosen Swordsman. One of our Spears will do quite well also. And we have them going uh, out of control. Heavy horses being taken out of the fight. Uh, these Germanic Scout Riders are getting a face full of javelins from the uh, from the spears back here. Out in this flank, a bit of engagement happening. We do have the uh, Spear Warriors and the Chosen Spearsmen getting into these Berserkers and Noble Riders. Noble Riders really needs to get the hell out of there. Uh, doesn't want to stay around, stick around for too long. But look at this uh, flanking maneuver happening here by, by Sol Invictus. Gonna get in behind these units and uh, probably get a couple of nice little charges here. Um, though, a little bit of a danger happening here with these uh, these two Kimbri Bowwomen completely undefended and a lot of heavy horse roaming around here. The Earthsworn taking a lot of heat. Look at this. This is awesome. A lot of very nice shots coming in here from the Kimbi Bowwomen. The uh, Noble Riders being pulled out of the fight. They're going to get swapped out for these Bloodsworn who are going to go after those Spear Warriors. And also this Wodenass Spear is going to see if they can get into those units uh, as well. We do have these Heavy Horse who are going to be charging after the uh, Kimbi Bowen. They are going to be able to catch a couple of those units. 
And the Wojnes Spears, it looks like he's going to be trying to uh, get them into combat against them. Heavy Horse all across the field being taken out of the fight. Only 16 here. And there's 20 over there. They are routing. They haven't just routed yet. Frenzy Charge has been applied. So very smart move from Sunsin. Unbreakable morale while they do have that Frenzy Charge applied. He doesn't go after, Ki after the Kimbu Bowman though. Very interesting. These guys do carry a two-handed spear when they're out of ammo. And they're going to get in there and, and wreck face on those uh, heavy horse there. Two of those units held down. They get taken out of the fight fairly quickly. Berserkers, 19 of them left. Going to do quite a bit of work against those Celtic Warriors. Stripping down a couple of those units. Uh, Chosen Spearmen still chasing the Germanic Scout Riders. Very, very interesting to see such an expensive unit being thrown away in a goose chase like this. They could be quite useful in the fight over here. Kibri Bowman, just uh, given a, a fair bit of time to fire on different targets around the field. At, the, at this point, they're, they're firing these Chosen Swordsmen. Not a bad, not a bad target there. So it looks like Sun Sin has lost a lot of units, but he's got a lot left over. He does have one of these Celtic Slingers and a bunch of these swords uh, at half strength or, or lower. Though crucially, he does still have this O Swarm with 105 men left. It's going to be peeling around the flanks. And it looks like uh, Sol Invictus is desperately trying to uh, consolidate his uh, his skirmishes here. Not a bad idea for the end game. We do still have Berserkers out in this flank. Tangoing with those uh, Celtic Warriors. Probably going to be, be able to take them out of the fight. Bloodsworn going to get a nice charge in on these Chosen Spearmen. Nice precursor jab. Straight in. Going to wreck face. Chosen Swordsman. Two of them and an Earthsworn. Uh, picking a fight with this one Bloodsworn. Though they are all grouped together. And look at this. The fire coming in from these Kimbi Bowmen. Absolutely brutal. Going to get a lot of kills with these units that are very uh, packed very tight. Noble Riot is going to get a nice charge in on these Levy Freeman. Let's follow this one in. Very compact formation though. Didn't get the best charge. They're going to be able to uh, puncture their way through the enemy formation and continue on. But it just means that these skirmishes do not have any uh, defense other than the Noble Rider uh, general. It doesn't look like it's going so well so far from, uh, from Sol Invictus. It depends on how much, um, how much ammo he's got left. And look at this. Kimby Bowman being thrown into combat against these uh, Chosen Swords. Very nice charge coming in here. I think that is... Uh, uh, what is it there? Pride. Uh, armor piercing damage has been boosted from, uh, from Sol Invictus. Warden their spears were a little bit too far away. Didn't get that bonus applied to them. Chosen Swordsman being taken out of the fight by Kimby Bowman. Nice stuff. Down to 19 men. They may just start to, uh, to rout here. Interesting stuff there. So we do still have a number of units. Noble Rider over here being chased off by the Levy Freeman. Uh, and a number of skirmishes also left on the field by, by Sol Invictus here. Going to be pulling away with a lot of units. And just different po uh, you know, pockets of the battlefield that are going to be uh, you know, worked by um, different units. We do have a Chosen Swordsman with 19 men left. Trying desperately to chase after the, uh, the skirmishes of Sol. He's doing an excellent job at... Um, at kiting here, turning around, taking shots where he can. This Oswan's under, under under a lot of heat here. They do still have a fair bit of uh, ammo left. Charge was somewhat ineffective. Actually, it, he did con continue on to the to the rest of the unit. Going to be able to take out those chosen swords here, and these Kibbe Bowmen turning around and facing these chosen swordsmen. They may be able to take him out of the fight here. Interesting stuff. So it's not looking all bad for Sol Invictus. He's done a, quite a good job at clawing his way back into this. Noble Rider's down to 10 men left. Going to be struggling to get back here. Looks like they're going to be going for the Celtic Slingers. They may be taken out of the fight just before that though. Looks like they do survive. They, they get into the enemy unit and they're going to stop that, uh, that, um, that storm of Slinger fire. And this Germanic Scout Rider is going to, going to survive to live another day. Nice little move there from Sol Invictus. These Bloods 1 are going to get taken out of the fight by a combination of Celtic Warrior and Spear Warrior. And one by one, Sol Invictus is pulling this back. The uh, uh, Chosen Sword is being taken out of the fight. Look at this. Look at this happening. I can't believe this is happening straight right in front of my eyes here. Uh, Germanic Scout Rider could, could effectively take out those Heavy Horse, and they do. Uh, finally, a Noble Rider over on this flank is going to be taken out of the fight. This Spear, spear Levy managed to destroy a Spear Warrior. And we do have this last Oathsworn being shot in the back by the uh, 
by the continued efforts of these Kimbi bowmen. Very good uh, kiting tactics being used here by Sol Invictus. While he moves one unit, he fires with another and into the back as well. Not a bad idea at all. These guys are dropping like flies. They don't really know which way to face. So Sun Sindari has been forced into an engagement. It doesn't really, doesn't really favor him here. These guys are going to rout, I think. Yep, definitely. He just popped headhunt. It was a little bit too late. And it looks like the... Uh, yep, General's recently dead. Um, and it looks like these... Um, these Arverni troops are going to start to, f to feel the morale effects here. That said, there's only a couple of Kimbi, Kimbi Bow women left on the field. We're going to get point blank shots into these Celtic warriors here. Brutal. Absolutely uh, devastating here. Down to 51 men. The morale is starting to be felt for a lot of these units. Levy Freeman's suffering. The balance of power is not really in the favor of uh, Sol Invictus. But it looks like the general recently dying has been able to push the uh, morale in the... In the way of um, Sunsen here. Looks like the charge is going to... He's going to take them on with the uh, Kimbu Bowman. They may just be able to finish off the fight here. Up against 14 Celtic Warriors. These guys have already got 165 kills themselves. Yes, <laughs> they managed to do it. Kimbu Bowman for the win. Getting a lot of very nice kills on the enemy infantry. So very um, good use of those units here. This is insane. I cannot believe this. So we've only got one Noble Rider left. With 103 kills, we've got Kimbi Bowman for days, four of them. Some of them are like down to half strength or whatever. And it looks like we're going to get another engagement happening here from these uh, Kimbi Bowman up against the uh, Spear Warriors. So the Spear Warriors won't have the best attack. Oh, look at this. We got a waiver. Do we get a route? Down to red morale. The Levy Freeman and the Chosen Swordsman, interestingly enough, are the first to start to feel those effects. They are taking a fair bit of heat from the uh, Kimbi Bowman. Chosen Swordsman, both units have managed to uh, stabilize. And we're going to get a nice little rear charge in here from this from the uh, Kimbi Bowman on these uh, Spear Warriors. So a desperate attempt to, to finish off this Spear Warrior from Sol Invictus here. Levy Freeman are content to just chase. And we're going to get a, a couple of these units turning around and, and taking a charge here. Levy Freeman going up against the Kimbi Bowman. Interestingly enough, the Kimbi Bowman do have a fair bit of, uh, of ammo left. They have turned around. They've, uh, they've taken a nice charge here. The morale, though. The morale has just been on the side of Sol Invictus this whole time. It looks like most units on the battlefield are down to red. Kimbi Bowman went down to 50 men. Both units are just about to rout. And it looks like Sol's going to try and get in behind the enemy units and get a nice rear charge here. <coughs> nice little charge here. Cavalry counter tactics being popped by Sun Sindari. He's going to have to turn around and run away with his noble riders. Doesn't want to lose his general. Taking a lot of losses though. Damn, down to 15 men. Still got another unit out here. Has been able to uh, take a couple of shots where it can. These spear warriors are going to suffer uh, the, the morale effects. Down to 36 men. The Kippy Bow Women. Oh my god. Managing to claim another victim in hand-to-hand -hand combat. Look at these guys. <laughs> Just absolutely wrecking Spear Warriors left, right, and center. But we do still have a Chosen Swordsman here uh, with 55 men left. Managed to finish off one Kimbi Bowman. Can it do the same with the others? Nice charge being applied to these Kimbi Bowman. They did have a very spread out, um, very spread out formation here, though. So the first charge has been applied to the uh, Kimbu Bowman, down to 10 men. They may be able to finish the job here. With the shield wall, they managed to finish them off. And the Noble Riders not really getting the best charge into the back here. That may have spelled their end. Down to 12 men with the Noble Riders. Gonna have to pull out of that engagement. Wisely so. Sol Invictus has managed to save his general just for now. And a bit of a cat and mouse happening here. <laughs> Oh my god, 50 men left on the Chosen Swords. Nice little charge coming into the back there. They weren't braced. They weren't facing the right direction. And these Kimbi Bowman are also going to get a charge in here. So they are attacking the rear. The balance of power is pretty, pretty even just now. We do get a waiver and we do get a rat. Holy shit balls! What the fuck? <laughs> oh. Sol Invictus does it every time. SH Clan. And that's, oh my god, Sol Invictus has just taken the, uh, has just taken the, um, the tournament, wrist tournament. 
Well done, Saul Invictus, winning the, the third match, and that's best of three, so he's managed to, to win the majority of all the matches, winning out with the uh, Swaby in incredible fashion with these Noble Riders, doing, getting a lot of kills. The Berserk is doing a lot of work. Bloodsworn getting a lot of kills also. But man, gotta hand it to you, man. These, these Kimbi Bowwomen being absolutely crucial in the end game there. 101 kills, 194, 111, and 71. Awesome stuff. And not, a lot of those kills were in hand-to-hand uh, -hand combat with some pretty decent uh, infantry units as well. So Sun Sin Dari doing an excellent job with his um, with his infantry and his charges in the initial uh, start of the match. But wasn't able to uh, seal the deal against his opponent here. So Solar Victus, congratulations, man. Uh, the winner of the Wrist Tournament for 2016 uh, goes to Solar Victus. The last two battles were going to be played uh, as a swap round, so game four, Sunsim was going to bring uh, the Bowie Eye and Sol Invictus was going to bring uh, Rome. And game five was going to be a normal round with uh, Sunsim playing as Galatia and Sol coming as the Swaby. So um, definitely would have been a hard task anyway, but Sunsim wasn't able to hold on. Thank you for uh, participating, Sunsim. Thanks for getting your computer fixed up so we could finish off this tournament. So my God, it's been a long time coming. But uh, we have managed to find our, uh, our winner for this tournament and it goes to Sol Invictus. So thank you everybody for playing if you did play. Thanks for watching as well. Hopefully you guys enjoyed and, uh, and I'll see you guys uh, next time. This is GG Best Selling out. Peace.